and mold. Mean, mean and mold. How do you find the mean? Add up the numbers in the data set. Divide the total by the number of items. The answer is the mean or average. Mean, median and mold. But how do you find the median? Arrange the numbers in order. From the lowest to the highest values. The middle number is the median. For an odd number of items, the average of two middle numbers is the mean for an even number of items. Mean, median, and mold. Mean, median, and mold. How do you find the mold? Just find the number that repeats most often, and that number is the mold. If you find no number that repeats most often, then there is no mold. Mean, median, and mold. At first I was afraid, what could the answer be? It said, given this position, find velocity. So I tried to work it out, but I knew that I was wrong. I struggled, I cried, a problem shouldn't take this long. I tried to think, control my nerve. It's evident that speed's tangential to that time position curve. This problem would be mine if I just knew that tangent line was what to do. Show me a sign So I thought back To calculus Way back to Newton And to Leibniz And to problems just like this And just like that When I had given up all hope I said nope There's just one way to find that slope And so now I I will derive Find the derivative of x position with respect to time It's as easy as can be, just have to take dx dt I will derive, I will derive, hey, hey What you know about math, hey Don't you know I represent math B When I add shorty subtract, freshman backpack Where I'm holding all my work at What you know about math, what you know about math what you know about math, I know all about math Answer's 44, it's real easy cause of sig figs You got 45, you round it high, your answer's too big What you know about math, what you know about math What you know about math, I know all about math DRA equals silver edition, know I'm shining dog. Extra memory, I'm the fact to do my natural law You know we multiply, while memorizing pi Take limits to the sky, be sure to simplify Graphing utility, this trigonometry 100, I'm at B, don't you cheat off me Distance is rate times time, the sine graph ain't no line Exponential decline, what's yours real can't be mine We're memorizing rates, for our mathic states Against the mathic grades, not getting many dates I got to find a mate, but girls just play a hate And always make me wait can't Don't even you know I represent math Lee when I add shorty subtract Freshman backpack where I'm holding all my work at What you know about math? What you know about math? What you know about math? I know all about math <laughs> Counting sheep when you're trying to sleep Being fair when there's something to share Being neat when you're folding a sheet That's mathematics When a ball Bounces off of a wall When you cook From a recipe book When you know How much money you owe That's mathematics How much gold can you hold In an elephant's ear When it's noon on the moon Then what time is it here? If you could count for a year, would you get to infinity or somewhere in that vicinity? When you choose how much postage to use, when you know what's the chance it will snow, when you bet 
and you end up in debt. Oh, try as you may, you just can't get away from mathematics. Andrew Wiles gently smiles, does his thing, and voila, QED, we agree, and we all shout hurrah. As he confirms what Fermat jotted down in that margin, which could have used some enlarging. Tap your feet, keep in time to a beat of a song While you're singing along, harmonize with the rest of the guys Yes, try as you may, you just can't get away from mathematics This is Nancy E.T. Johnson, mathematics teacher, and this is how to solve word problems. Word problems can be very challenging to many students, and some of the basic things to think about when you're trying to solve a word problem is to figure out what are the facts and what is being asked for. Here's an example. A college student plans to spend $420 on books for one semester. He also plans to spend $20 per week on pizza. The fall semester is 18 weeks long. How much will he need for books and pizza? Basically, we have some facts here. The student is going to be spending some money. He spends $420 on books, and he's spending $20 per week on pizza. The actual items that he's spending the money on really don't affect the numbers that come out of this problem, but they're all in there as part of the context. We need to add the $420 and the $20 per week. But this amount is going to, or this um, information is going to require us to look for this other fact that the fall semester is 18 weeks long. So we're going to take the $20 he's spending each week and multiply times 18 the number of weeks. So he's spending $360 on pizza for the semester and $420 on books for the semester. If we want to know how much he's going to spend for both the books and the pizza, then we need to add these things together. And of course, to complete a word problem, the best thing is to answer the question just turning the words around and putting in the numbers. How much will he need for books and pizza? He will need $780 for books and pizza. <laughs> 